Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm Henry, a DevOps engineer here at Phoenix Media and last time we looked at how easy it was to deploy Magento in a local Kubernetes cluster. This time around I have something just as interesting. We will look at how easy it is to deploy Magento in a Google Cloud environment. If you're interested, stay tuned and I'll walk you through each of the steps necessary. In the beginning, let's take care of the prerequisites. If you don't already have one, create a Google account which will later be used to access the Google Kubernetes engine. As a new user, you even get $300 in free credits, which is going to be much more than enough for our demo. The second dependency is going to again be our own Magento Helm chart, which has now been expanded to include support for the Google Cloud deployment. After creating your Google account, you'll need to create an account on Google Kubernetes Engine, and after finishing the setup, you should arrive at the dashboard which should look roughly something like this. After that, we'll need to create our own new project, which in this case I will name Magento Deployment, and I'll just create it right here. The bonus with creating it like this is that it is going to automatically get linked to my own billing account so that I don't have to do any extra steps. Now as we can see the project has been created and the next thing to do would be to just open up our own cloud shell and then continue with the next steps. Now as a first step let's switch to the project we just created which we can do with the following command. Now no need to worry the commands will also be in the video description this time around. Second, we need to enable a few API services, which we can do with the following command. What we're doing right now is enabling the Kubernetes API, as well as enabling the file services API. After these APIs have been enabled, all we need to do now is create our own cluster, which we can do with the following command. Here we can see that in this cluster we specify that we're using zone e Asia East, which I found to be the zone with the most resources available. And we are also uh, including some of the add-ons, which is going to be the HTTP load balancing, which is going to be used for our ingress, the persistent disk CSI driver, and the file store CSI driver, which are all connected to the file Google APIs. This will enable us to use persistent volume claims, which have read or write many actions enabled. After that, we specify the image type Ubuntu Container D, since it is much more versatile and will enable us any kind of changes that we wish to do later on. As well as a machine type, which, is, which I found to be the most minimalistic machine that also fulfills our CPU and memory requirements. This process can take some time, so I'm just going to fast forward here until it's done. Okay, in the meanwhile, the cluster has already been deployed and we can double check that if we go under Kubernetes engine and then cluster, you can see that our cluster is already here. However, the cluster has no pods running. While the cluster was being deployed, I took the liberty of cloning our repository. So I already have all of the files in my system. In this walkthrough, we will use the values GKE YAML file, which looks roughly like this. When compared to the file that we used in our local installation, it is much more extensive and has also updated Magento Cloud Routes values. In this case, it's updated for the domain that I'm going to use, which is going to be magento.phoenixmedia.rocks. This also needs to be updated down here in the ingress configuration, as well as in the managed cert, but this will come on later. Now, without further ado, we can already start the deployment of our own Helm chart. As per usual, the command is also going to be in the video description. This process, just the same as in the local machine, is going to also take some time. So, we'll skip ahead. Okay, so the Helm chart just finished deploying and we can see that since now we see pods that are trying to start. The varnish has already started, however, the other ones are going to need some more time. Also, when we go to services and ingress, we can see that the services have already been created. 
as well as the ingress, which is pending. Here we can see in the configuration that it is linked to magento.phoenixmedia.rocks. This is going to be later whichever domain that you have reserved. As you can imagine, this is also going to take some time. So instead of waiting, we'll just skip ahead once everything has finished the deployment. Okay, after quite a few minutes, all of the pods actually finish the deployment. It takes some time, so don't be alarmed. Part of the reason is also the persistent volume claim, since it takes quite some time to provision the storage. Now, next, let's check all of the services. Now, the services have also completed their deployment, and the ingress is also green. And that it already has an external IP address. This address can then later be used for the DNS resolution of our domain to this specific IP address. Now, since all of the pods finished their deployment and the entry in the DNS has already been made in my case, the next thing to do would be to check if the page is working. Now, if I enter my domain, as you can see, the webshop will open and we can navigate and use the webshop however we wish. We can even sign in using the demo customer. We can check some sample data, like for example, some women's jackets. So it's all right here and you're free to play around with it however you wish. Now, for a few extra steps, we can also generate an SSL certificate, which then can later on be used in order to encrypt all of the communication and enable HTTPS. In order to do that, all we need to do is change our values GKE YAML file by enabling the managed certificate as well as specifying the domain we want to use, which in our case is going to be magento.phoenixmedia.rocks. We can just copy it from down here. With that one finished, we can just redeploy our app and all of the changes should take effect right away. Let's just also fast forward through this process. Okay, so deployment of the new app just finished. And now we can double check if the changes took effect in our own web page actually. Right now it's still using HTTP, which is marked as unsecure. And if we try to switch to HTTPS, we're not going to have any issues. Our web store is now using SSL encryption and should remain relatively the same other than that. Now you're free to play around with your full Magento installation. I hope this guide really helped to show you how easy it is to deploy Magento in a Google Cloud environment using our own open source Helm chart. Until next time.